Mary made bad cookies, I heard. They're no good? Yeah, they're really good. Are they good? There were not many left. <laughs> My name is Patrick Maher, and uh, right now, I'm on temporary duty at the Elaine's Hold Base. What are you looking for? The picture of my wife. Yeah, my name is Jim Maher. Uh, my dad is a resident of Elaine's Hope. My mom was a resident of Harwood Place. So they both grew up in Milwaukee. They went to high school together at St. John's Cathedral. And my dad went into the Air Force real early. That was back in the early 50s. Through the course of that career, they had six children, my five brothers and sisters. My dad went into service right out of high school. Got set up with aviation cadets, which led to him being a navigator on several different airplanes in the Air Force, uh, B-25, B-36, B-52. We lived in Massachusetts. We moved to Guam for three years. And his last year in the service, they sent him to Vietnam. So we came back to Milwaukee where all of our relatives were. And so uh, we spent a lot of time while my dad was in Vietnam, uh, getting farmed out to my aunts and uncles to give my mom a break. You know, six kids all by herself, you know, husband's halfway around the world in a war zone. He let my mom run the house even when he came back. He didn't try to, you know, change a thing. He, you know, my mom had a system and he let it roll. My wife, Katie, Katie was a beautiful person. He was so pleasant and so nice. And um, he never got really ups upset, you know. And if she'd get a little mad, her voice would go up a notch and you know, those kids would know it. She did it all, you know? I don't know how the hell she did it. But she did it all. And it worked out beautifully. My mom had gotten sick and was having more and more trouble. She had uh, um, leukemia. And my dad also had heart problems and he was having some problems too. So over time, it got more and more challenging for us. Thankfully, my mom had a friend who was already living at Harwood Place and, and who actually kind of gave her a little bit of information about how much she liked it. It was hard for them to move at first, but after they did, um, it wasn't long before my mom said, geez, we should have done this sooner. Because she got involved in the choir, she could go to church, she developed a friend group. She was downstairs at the front desk, you know, coffee clatching it all the time. At that point, most of their siblings had passed and a lot of their friends had passed, so their life at home alone was kind of lonely and they got a whole social experience at Harwood again. That was really excellent. My dad, he had some falls. He was pretty much with it, you know, until these falls. And then it was clear after the last visit to the emergency room that he needed assisted living. We hadn't really looked at Elaine's Hope until we needed it for him. So I worked as a public health nurse, so I've, I've seen a lot of memory care places and assisted living place. And Elaine's Hope is really a cut above. It's one of the best places I've ever seen. So I felt actually relieved when, uh, when my dad ended up in this place and, I, and thankful that this was the place he, he came to. And so it worked out really well with Pat coming here then that she could get on the shuttle and come over and visit him. She did every day. She started having a lot of problems with her leukemia. One day I took her in and, and they found some things in the tests that they said, you know, you really need to be in the hospital for a while. And she, unfortunately, she never made it home after that. It was really, really challenging. Sometimes he, he knows that she passed, other times he doesn't remember that she passed. The staff worked with us really closely on that. They thought it might be nice to have a photograph of my mom that actually had the year that she passed. And I think that helped, you know. It was kind of a segue into being able to talk with him about that. This one. Looking that, yeah, yeah, that's... That's the one you want, right? Yeah. This is the one that shows her smiling. And that's the way Katie was. All the staff that's here, they know uh, what to do if he's having a bad day and to re reorient him to something that, that makes him successful for the day. With his memory issues, they bring out the best in him. He knows them all by name, which is crazy because, you know, here he has memory care issues, but he knows he knows all his workers. Wherever he's at, that's where, that's where they're willing to meet him. He looks back over the years, and you think, how do we get to do all this? You know? And 
I think it was God walking, walking us along and taking us with him. And I hope that he lets us walk along until we get home and we're grounded. <laughs> 